tempted by the money. I gotta remember that I don't need the money. I have more than enough money. <laughs> There's nothing for me to buy. <laughs> Phantom would be cake. Oh, for real. Rising Dragon! <laughs> memory, that's like memory tomb for me. Take up the dirt, blow up the dust, crack the lid. Oh look, it's Lava Spider! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh man. Ooh, I I feel you on that. As I remember, I remember. <laughs> There's games that I have that feel like that for sure. <laughs> oh man, that's like, ooh, that's like me and Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> It's, it's good. It's good to go back every once in a while. You never know. <clears throat> details, especially when people tell you details that you never, you never realized, or you're like, huh, I never noticed that. And then you go back and you're like, they were right. <laughs> That's cool. Um, let's see. I think I'm stuck here. No. That is the answer. Gotta remember to bank the energy. It's doing me no good just sitting there. New habits I gotta build. That was weird. I got like frozen. I never actually got into Middle Gear Solid. It always felt tedious to me. Middle Gear Solid 5 finally hooked me. Yeah. They're great games. They're. They are. It's all about patience. Like, you gotta have patience. Those games are, you can, well, you can play them. How do I say this? You can definitely skip a lot if you know what you're doing. Um, and the story, uh, people have, well, people have words to say about the story, but. Um, if you do everything, those are games I did everything in. <laughs> uh -uh. But. To get everything and to do everything is multiple playthroughs, especially on the harder difficulties like extreme and European extreme. Oh god, those are that's like that's like this version's hell or hell. <laughs> Never again will I do it. <laughs> Never again. Oh man, but but they're good fun. There's a lot you can do. <clears throat> Tactical espionage action. Those are like some of my favorite favorite games I've ever played. So many good moments. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Oh, can't remember to walk. There's an enemy. <laughs> well, the Death Stranding happened. I was apprehensive at first, but at the end, I was in love with the experience. It's not a game, it was something else. Dude, I love Death Stranding. That game. <laughs> I was apprehensive at first, too. Like, I saw what it was about. <clears throat> I heard the memes that were like, we're just paperboy. Amazon experience worker. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 we just didn't know it um but <clears throat> it was what cyberpunk should have been <laughs> yeah no that game is awesome like i had a i had to get i had to wrap my mind around what i wanted it to be instead of what i wanted it to be and sit for and take it for what it was because i came into it thinking it was going to be in the vein of metal gear solid and there's a little bit of metal gear solid in it but like for the most part, it's its own, it's its own thing, and and um, after that, like I got hooked. I loved the experience. Just something about exploring, being out in the world, listening to music. It's it's like uh, I'll have to go back and. Okay, gotta make sure there's no enemies. Don't want my style gauge to decrease, but yeah, that that game, I I loved it. Yeah, uh, the meta experience with other online participants—that's what turns it a, a full placement into a subconscious mini game. The weird premise, the music, yeah, it was profound. I wish I could feel that over. Yeah, I cried, man. I the ending got me for real. <clears throat> Chapter fourteen, <laughs> that that hit me hard. I got attached. The characters grew on me. I loved the design. The story was pretty good. Kojima, of course, but I I enjoyed it. Seeing other other travelers helping, leaving charging stations, leaving charging stations for people. Seeing like people delivering their stuff for them. Oh, I was I got addicted. I easily i i questioned whether i wanted to platinum that game at the end of it and i oh man there was just so many other games i wanted to play though <laughs> that's like it's what's stopping me from getting like master class level in this game it's like it's just uh if this were like my only game <clears throat> and there wasn't anything else to play i wouldn't mind but I'm like, I've kind of turned in from like playing one game and then going to the next experience. Sometimes I'll come back if there's something new, like a Virgil run, but. That I knocked him. Oh, it's that guy. I thought he was dead. Facing the wrong way. <laughs> I was gonna rising drag in the guy. <clears throat> Lay mission twenty right now. <laughs> I don't know what death is like. <laughs> oh god, I'm not ready for mission twenty. We both know that, Tim Kara. I have to ascend to that. I'll get good. As I am now, I'm not ready. I can admit that. I will get ready though. <laughs> I'm the same. I rarely replay sometime, but something about Bloodborne had me addicted. And like an addict, I replayed it four, five, six times. I honestly lost count. 
<laughs> no, I get you. It's, yeah, there's... Uh, you don't have to be... I don't know. I've... You don't have to be such a fan that you replay a game over and over or revisit it constantly to not, you know, to, to appreciate it. Uh -uh. I think there's a lot of people that are like, if you don't beat it at the hardest of the hard and do everything, you're not a fan. Or if you don't play that game multiple times, you're not a fan. If you've played it and you enjoyed it, um, you know, and you're ready to move on, that's you're still a fan. That doesn't make that doesn't make the experience any less profound or enjoyable in any way. But <laughs> uh, I just uh, -uh. I'm trying to think. Metal Gear Solid is definitely there's not a whole lot aside from Devil May Cry, Metal Gear Solid. Is there anything else that I've gone back to? I'm sure there is, but... I can't, I can't think of anything right now. I think it, even non-players can be- Oh, definitely! Even non-players can definitely be fans. Especially if they're like in the vein of something, like if something's similar to something else. Uh-uh. Like... Uh-uh. There's tons of games that I'm a fan of that I have in my backlog that I show support because it's like, I like what they're doing and a lot of people that I know have like strong recommendations and I'm like, alright, I'll get to that eventually. <laughs> like the game I probably played the most in my life was DMC3 GTA. Yeah, GTA is something, that's a game, Grand Theft Auto is a game I really respect and appreciate, but I like, <laughs> I've never beaten a single one other than Vice City. Um, not that I don't like it, but like those games are like, I just stick around. I stick around for like 20, 30 hours. I get my funds worth and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to move on. I'll, I'll do the same thing when GTA 6 comes out. <laughs> Maybe I'll beat the story because I'm stream, but prior to streaming, that's, that's mainly like huge fan of Grand Theft Auto. Those games are like phenomenal. They're, they're juggernauts and like sales. Um, but that's one example of me, like, never beaten one, but I, like, I respect the series so much. Rockstar Games, they, they're phenomenal developers. I think the only one I've ever gone back and played is Red Dead Redemption. And I need to play, um, Red Dead Redemption 2. I also need to play Red Dead Redemption on stream. <laughs> one day. Uh, uh But yeah. Those are great games. I'm still blanking on There was that one RPG I played two years ago, Legend of uh Legia. I love that game. I'll always go back to that game. First RPG I ever beat. <laughs> Uh, and I've been meaning to go back and play it on stream just because I lost the footage when my computer crashed and I would like to have that up on the stream just just for my own sake uh, uh, oh we should play we should play we should all play Red Dead 2 online mm -mm. yeah I've heard it's pretty fun same thing with GTA online it'd be cool check it out for a few nights have some fun That's another thing. I don't think I've... I played GTA Online once. Back in... Grand Theft Auto 4, I think? <laughs> or me and my cousin would just run around the map rocketing each other. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of my friends play GTA just... <clears throat> messing around. It's good fun. I gotta focus. This is Dante Must Die. <laughs> Be like Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> I 
No, for reals. Brokeback Mountain 2, the sequel. That no one asked for. <laughs> Virtual equals staggering juggle beast. Yeah. Uh, oh, for real. Like I said, I'm I'm doing intermediate stuff. I haven't even I definitely gotta once I put in the time to practice and get my stuff down. Uh -uh, that's where the real fun begins. Always gotta remember to charge. No mercy. Just like that, one hit. I think two hits. For <laughs> style. I started playing Neo 2 recently, man. That game has a lot of combat tricks to remember. That's another game. Slice and dice. Hey! Welcome back, Ark Boba Fett. That's, those are... Ah, oh, man. The Dark Souls games, Neo, those are games that have, like, heavily been requested. Like, well, not requested, but suggested by people that have seen me play other action games. They're like, you really like it. You seem like you... Uh, action. Got the patience. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> and they're like, you'd have some fun. You should give them a try. And they're in my backlog. <laughs> For a rainy day, when I can get, you know, when I can get to them. But... How are you liking them? <clears throat> I know the closest I've come to Dark Souls is when I played Jedi Fallen Order, and I loved that game. Uh-uh. And again, scratched the surface of like what can be done and how to play. But if there's a, if there's a, well, not even if, when the inevitable sequel comes out, definitely play it on a harder difficulty. I think I did Jedi Master and there was Grandmaster or maybe I was Jedi Knight. 
Not master. Mm -mm. Oh boy, I need to heal. You'll never catch up with everything, but another uh, Devil May Cry 5 experience I recommend Bayonetta. That's another one, and I'm sitting on that. I The only thing stopping me from playing those games is I'm waiting for uh, uh, Bayonetta 3's release date to be announced. And I'm like, alright, time to jump through those. Already got them. <laughs> like I said, they're in my backlog. I'm just... Nintendo, Platinum Games, uh, uh, the ball's in your court. Just tell us the release date. <laughs> and then I'll jump into them. I think I think I was told to play those games right around Devil May Cry 4, 5. Uh, uh, a lot of viewers were like, you'd really like Bayonetta. I'd watch you play it. I'm like, looking into it, I'm like, oh yeah. Kamiya, Devil May Cry's father, uh, uh, went off and made a badass female protagonist. Uh, uh, what's not to enjoy? Uh, uh. But... They're on. They're on my radar. I'm. I'm really just waiting for a release date. Nintendo to surprise me and like the game comes out this Christmas. Enjoy. I was like, whoop. Got to play Bayonetta one two now. <laughs> That's what I did for Devil May Cry five. I played Devil May Cry one all the way up until the release month. It was awesome. It was a hell of an experience. I built muscle memory. I learned like how the game should be played. I got a lot of lore. Uh, as it was awesome. It was also the month I got affiliated, so forever we'll remember. Just waiting for the damn Scissor Sisters. Alright. Uh oh, I thought I killed her. Yeah, Jean, the counter protagonist, was a cheeky nod to Dante's color scheme. White hair, red outfit, etc. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've openly said, Platinum Games has openly said, like, they're open to do a collaboration between Bayonetta and Devil May Cry. It's, they're just waiting for Capcom to say, yay or nay. And they've been very adamant about that. And the fans are like, make it happen, Capcom. And Capcom is like, hmm. Proud Japanese company. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but it's nice to dream. <clears throat> but like I said, yeah, Kamiya. Devil May Cry, uh, the papa, the father that birthed Devil May Cry 5. Left Capcom, ex Clover Studio, employees, start Platinum Games, start doing action games on their own. When Capcom was having a drought, I think for a while the only thing they the only action game they did that was of success was Asura's Wrath, which is another game that's been recommended that I play. <laughs> and Platinum Games had the whole... The four game deal with Activision, Bayonetta 1 and 2 for Nintendo. Well, actually Bayonetta 1 is 360, well, everything now. Um, but Bayonetta 2 is exclusive to Nintendo. Same with Bayonetta 3. Wonderful 101. I love that game. Talk about an action game. I love, I love that game so much. That's another game I go back. <laughs> I keep going back to. I don't know if you've ever heard of The Wonderful 101. I love that game so much. It's probably my favorite, my favorite action game. <laughs> oh, man. And I think you got to know about me is like, I'm a hard, hardcore, diehard. Damn it. Checkpoint is all the way back here. Oh, this is going to be rough. Gotta beat the sisters. Is 
I love Power Rangers Super Sentai. I'm like, a, I'm a huge junkie for that. Like, I've loved it ever since I was a kid. I've never stopped loving it. And that's Platinum Games has taken action game using Sentai as a as a as as the theme. I fell in love. It's it's so good. <laughs> Think like Pikmin and Devil or yeah, Pikmin and Devil May Cry Bayonetta like combined <laughs> with superheroes that they each have like. Oh, it's so so good. And the good thing is, it's on everything now too. It used to be exclusive to Wii U, but you can get it on everything. They uh, they re-released it after having a successful Kickstarter. They were like, "You guys have asked. Here's your time to show us that you want this game on other systems. If we can like hit a million, we'll port it to everything." And I think they they made like close to five million dollars. Uh, uh And so they brought it to everything, and they added some some extra features, which I have to go check out. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, what was it called? The Wonderful 101. It's... Oh, man. That game has so much personality and the things they did with the Wii U controller, the gamepad. I haven't played it again yet. I bought it on... Um, on Switch and PC. Uh, I have, like... That's a game I triple dipped on. And I'll buy it again if there's, like... <laughs> just... They had, like, a badass collector's edition for like a thousand dollars that I was like super goddamn tempted to buy. I was like, I have no reason giving them a thousand dollars. I definitely, I, I backed them. But I was like, it had, you, they gave you a physical platinum trophy. Um, a wonderful 101, Wonder Red, his mask. You got exclusive, an art book, a soundtrack. I think a vinyl, the soundtrack. So you got a digital and a physical vinyl. Um, there was like a, like a, a badass book stand that they made of all the characters. I was like, God damn, a thousand dollars though. I was like, <laughs> oh man. But yeah, it's, it's so cool. It has a lot of charm. The action is top notch. There's a lot you can do in that game. It's, oh, it's so amazing. I, that's like another, that's one of the games I will definitely like, I go back, I will play again. It's, I find it to be that good. I, I cannot <laughs> suggest it enough. Wow, that happened. Respect the enemies. <laughs> I'm thinking of the wonderful 101 right now. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I can do this. This is the name of the game. Rinse and repeat till I get it right. Oof, I'm thinking already about Artemis. Get 
All right. All right. Maintain focus. I gotta remember. No mercy. It is kill or be killed. <laughs> Spend the meter here. He's stuck. <laughs> or did I just kill him? Charging pose. All right. Considerably more health than last time. We got this. No.
Bad news, I have like a quarter of health. <laughs> I don't think there's any health around here. Wait, wait. <clears throat> Alright, well, it's time to get good now. Challenge accepted. I call this one Moon Lobster. <laughs> yeah. For real, she's not that bad. <laughs> Artemis is not that bad. The Moon Lobster I can get. Oh man. When action game arthritis starts to kick in, I have to like. <laughs> That's the thing about action games. When you play them on the hardest difficulty, or the harder difficulties, your <laughs> hand to do everything that you need to do when you need to do it. <clears throat> it's like I wish I had extra fingers. Just beast on her to almost get. Damn. Like three quarters down. Ah, oh, man. Mashing buttons for like a minute straight. <laughs> and then your hand just grabs out. <clears throat> that's another thing that's really good. Playing an action game. You build up your, your stamina. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Oh, man. Alright, alright. We can beat the Moon Lobster. She's not that bad. I can just brute force her to a stun state. 
with my three bars of health. Timed it wrong. I've been a little bit faster, I would have teleported. Bumped her, teleported again. Ah, we can do this. That's the question. How many runs will it take for Ego to beat Artemis? One? A two? Definitely not one or two. <laughs> we gotta start taking guesses for fun. I gotta start awarding gold stars. How many runs do you think you can beat it in? Combo is keeping me from teleporting. I, still have I gotta get in front of her. Hit her like once or twice. Jump. And then continue to combo. <laughs> oh man. If I had if I had a full health bar, we'd be done. <laughs> Steady with the lobster. This is the way. Death by a thousand paper cuts. No. 
Oh, no way. Oh, man. My hand just gives out. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I get slow, and then my hand's like, all right. <laughs> you gotta beat her now. Otherwise, my stamina gives. I just, I can only push the button so fast for so long. <laughs> we, can, we can do this, though. Uh, that right there showed you that I can... It can't be done. Order of health. We can get it. We can be heroes. Have it so close it's right there all right that's when I back off if I can't finish her then just back off let her shoot the beam down so close what uh, hey blue white Chara how are you doing <laughs> I'm trying to beat um, the moon lobster as she's been rightfully named. Uh -uh. All right, all right. wrong. Damn. I'm doing good. Trying to install Scott Foundation. Scrap Foundation. Oh, okay. Uh -uh. Cool. I haven't heard of that. I hope it installs. I hope you have fun. 
Oh man. Ah. Uh, all right. I gotta give my fingers some rest. Scott. Uh -uh. Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a good name for a video game. Just saying. When I think of Scott, I think of Great Scott! 1.21 gigawatts! How could I have been so careless? I could have wrote Scott Cawthorn. <laughs> Shady Org. That locks up the great Scots to protect humanity. <laughs> definitely. Because humanity definitely needs the protection. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> we have the bad habit of asking... Uh, no. How does it go? We have the bad habit of never asking... <laughs> um, what is it? What is Dr. Jeff Goldblum? We spent so long asking, could we? We never stopped to ask, should we? <laughs> Remember, the important thing is that you have fun. Exactly, that's what I always say. If you're not having fun, uh, then why are you doing it? You're just setting yourself up for a whole world of hurt. <laughs> In fact, I like that so much. Give me a second. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do this. This is good because I like, let my hands have a little bit of a break. Alright. Boom. That's a gold star. <laughs> for impressing me <laughs> uh -uh, with your wisdom Dragon. Oh, 
<laughs> Sometimes I'm bloodborne. I let the boss kill me just so I can fight them again. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's mad impressive. When you realize you're in tier five. Oh no. It's okay, Blue Achara. You can you can ascend to the ranks. Anyone can with enough hard work, dedication, perseverance, and a little bit of skill, and just a sprinkle of luck. But damn, I'm trying to think. Have I ever let a boss kill me just so I could kill him again? I think I've done that. Imagine how insulted the monsters must have felt. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did something similar. I don't regularly do that, but the first night I beat this, um, or the last, yeah, I don't know, the first time I beat this, I was learning a fight. It took me like a good hour to beat it. Uh -uh. And before I beat it, I'm like, all right, uh -uh. I let him beat me. I'm like, now I know what to do. I'm going to do it. And then I did do it. And it was the hypest thing ever. The stream was like, oh. <laughs> but I don't I don't make it a habit in my regular plays. It's just like, all right, I'll fight you again. <clears throat> you like you chose to. It was spur of the moment. I was like, all right, I can beat this guy. <laughs> I can do that way better and I can prove it. <laughs> but damn. <clears throat> I know I've replayed levels as like a child. I was like, that was so fun. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> uh, boss fights. Sometimes I go back, but I don't instantly lose the fight and repeat it again. And that's unless, unless I'm practicing for something. Like I did, I did do that for, ah, my mind is blanking. Uh, -uh. <laughs> oh, and we got a poll. What is it? Echo's feet or Savage Dora? Uh -uh. Oh, now I gotta do a poll. Give me one second, you guys. <clears throat> Thank you for the white char. Let's see. Let's let's. Uh... It wasn't always like that. I spent days fighting the blood and starved beast. Then a YouTube rookie plays uh, Bloodborne first time and beats Blood Starved in first try. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've done some of those. Dim Kara and some of my hardcore Devil May Cry finds are like, now here's where you're really going to get challenged. And then I beat it first try and they were like, huh. Whoa, goddamn, that was impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it was me fighting Virgil, actually. Devil May Cry 3. They're like, here's where you're gonna get rocked. Good luck. And then I did it first try. <laughs> oh, man. It's Savage Dora. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I will put... I must make the poll. Give me a second. This is also good. a good rest for my hands. I think it was the right call to do this to do with the Dante Must Die proper run and segments, because <laughs> next time it's Ego's Moist Feet. Ooh, I think of either shower feet or like pool feet. <laughs> uh -uh, but I don't have the best feet. Just throwing it out there, being honest. <laughs> so let's see. New poll. 